up to a question that you saw on a quiz recently that confused some of you about associating genotypes with phenotypes for X-linked um, genes. So here are a list of possible genotypes that could exist in human populations for the H gene that is attached to the X chromosome. There are two uh, alleles that we're interested in, big H, which is associated with being healthy and it's dominant, and little h, which is associated with hemophilia and it's recessive. So let's go through these genotypes one at a time and ask what the corresponding phenotype would be. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this top one, X big H, X big H, this is female and she'll be homozygous for the big H allele. It's dominant, it's health, health associated, she is not a hemophiliac. This female, however, is homozygous for the little h disease associated allele. She is hemophiliac because she doesn't have a dominant allele to rescue her. Please note that this is a pretty rare condition and the reason for that is that the little h allele occurs at pretty low abundance in most human populations. So it's unusual to see individuals that have inherited both their copies, um, both little h alleles, both from mom and from dad. And that's, that's rare when you're talking about a rare allele. So, but it can happen and she would have hemophilia. She would be a hemophiliac. This female, X big H, X little h, she's heterozygous for the H gene. She will not be hemophiliac because she's got the big H dominant allele, which is health associated, and that will be enough to prevent her from being a hemophiliac. She is somebody we would call a carrier because she could transmit that little H allele to her offspring. And if she has any boys, each of those boys will have a 50% chance of having hemophilia, depending on whether they get this X chromosome or this X chromosome from their mother. This individual is female and triploid for the, for the, uh, the H gene, generally speaking, because she has actual three copies of the X chromosome. That can happen, and it's a condition called triplo X, and she will not have hemophilia because she's got dominant copies of the big H allele. This is a male because the Y chromosome is present and in humans the presence or absence of the Y chromosome dictates sex. Because males only have one X chromosome typically, um, like that, there can be exceptions to that. So you could have had an XXY male for example, but we're just looking at this circumstance. We say that males are hemizygous for the X chromosome and any genes found on the X chromosome because the only allele this individual would have is the big H allele. They are not hemophiliacs. They do not have hemophilia. X little hy will be male because of the Y chromosome and they'll be, they're hemizygous for the little H allele of the H gene. That means unfortunately that they have um, hemophilia, they are hemophiliacs. Um, okay, and I hope that um, that helps and clarifies a little bit.